by encouraging scientific exploration, utilizing cutting-edge technology, engineering a better future, and realizing mathematical potential, we inspire. We inspire young girls to pursue their dreams with creativity and confidence. We inspire the next generation to make a meaningful and lasting impact on the world around them. And we do this through fashion. Fashion Fundamentals is a STEM enrichment program for middle school girls. It is a program funded by the American Honda Foundation and generous donations from private individuals. Fashion Fundamentals has both technical and social programming units. The technical programming units incorporate the STEM framework of science, technology, engineering, and math. Science is represented in the fiber science and historic textiles units. Technology is applied in the digital textile printing and store design units. The apparel engineering or 3D foot scanning unit and the wearable technology unit represent the engineering portion of the program. Finally, math is integrated in the costing and pricing unit as well as the apparel manufacturing and sewing unit. The social programming units of Fashion Fundamentals aim to positively influence self-confidence, self-esteem, and academic performance by addressing topics of concern among adolescent girls. These units include body image and media literacy, nutrition, physical activity, anti-bullying, and internet safety. By participating in Fashion Fundamentals, young girls will take their first steps toward a successful future and gain the knowledge and confidence necessary to achieve extraordinary outcomes. For textile science laboratory, the girls are learning some basics and the fundamentals about the fibers and the fabrics and the textile product. They did microscope examining fibers. They also did a burning test, which helped them to identify different burning behavior when they burn cotton, silk, or polyester. They also did a solubility of the fibers. So they use organic solvent, and when you dip in fiber in organic solvent, you will see different solubility behavior. This class helps them to learn basic knowledge about fiber and the fiber fabrics and the textiles. And I think this really gives them confidence. They're learning fashion, they're learning how to create fashion style, but, uh, but also they learn the science behind that. We are talking about a variety of different elements of historic textiles from fibers, how those fibers become yarns, then how they become fabrics, and really how we use that knowledge of historic textiles to preserve and protect the pieces that are in the collection. So hopefully how this will help them in the future is to understand that history isn't something boring and in a book. Right? It's alive, it's a dress, it's a pair of shoes, it's something that their grandmother wore, and hopefully they will take away that it isn't just fashion, that it isn't just fluff, that there is a lot that goes into it. Science and math and technology are all part of the construction of garments, how the textile industry works, and really hopefully they'll understand the process. The CAD textile design portion of Fashion Fundamentals teaches the girls basic motif development, so designing pattern, designing print on a textile. And then we further their knowledge with computer-aided or computer technology, so how technology can aid in and ease the development of textile design. I think this is really important for the girls to know how their clothing is actually made, how it's designed, how plain fabric becomes printed, and the steps that it takes to make fabric I think is really important. In the visual merchandising portion of Fashion Fundamentals, we look at basic theories of shopping, so how people react to a store environment, traffic patterns, how they shop, why they shop that way. The next thing we do with the girls is actually have them design a retail store using three-dimensional store design software. And this allows the girls to see what the store is actually going to look like and then what it's going to feel like. So it really gives them insight into how stores, how environments are designed, and why they're 
successful or why they're not successful. 3D Shoe Fit is a new content of Apparel Engineer Unit offered this year. This unit was designed to teach middle school girls about various considerations in selecting right shoes and how to quantify shoe fit and comfort. In this unit, students experienced the latest foot measuring method called 3D foot scanning technology. Using non-invasive light sensors, this device scanned the anthropometric dimensions of a foot created a 3D surface model in a few seconds. Taking the foot measurement, students calculated their shoe fit based upon diverse contributing factors to their physical and psychological comfort perceptions. Then, students calculated the shoe fit scores based upon a specific calculation equation called dynamic footwear fit. Students also compared their shoe fit of different shoe types which is casual, athletic, and formal shoes, and further compare their shoes across the entire class. Merging STEM into the fun subject like fashion, we hoped the girls to learn math and technology in a less structured, pleasant environment. Also, this unit was intended to introduce the latest uh, technology that is currently used in the leading footwear manufacturers which could inspire them to look into the technical and practical side of the footwear industry. Furthermore, foot health is important for adolescents' growth, so this unit was not only to teach STEM but also deliver well-informed knowledge about right shoe fit for the girls' foot health and their healthy growth in general. In this class, we teach these girls several things. First, we teach them how to make a flower. Second part is how to sew this electronic thread. This electronic thread is a little bit different from the traditional thread because we cannot get cross with each other. Otherwise, we will get the short circuit. And also, this thread is not so easy to sew it. Out of that, I will teach the students to use a code. I think this class is very meaningful for these young girls. Traditionally, the men like this type of things. Females, they don't like it. I think for these girls, they can learn how to use this kind of computer code. And then eventually, if they want to make something, they can make it for themselves. And also, in the future, maybe they can choose computer science or this apparel design major. I feel for the girls, especially for girls, we know more about the science, more about these computer things. Uh, it's very important. In the costing and pricing unit, girls are introduced to the various factors that will contribute to the cost as well as the final retail price of an apparel good. So we engage in a variety of activities in which we apply Colorado academic standards for math, including algebraic formulas, the use of fractions and percentages to establish costs and prices. Math is an important component of our everyday lives, and whether or not girls choose to work in the apparel industry and cost and price goods for sale, or whether they pursue other careers, math will always be something that will serve them in their professional and personal lives. And the hope really is that the girls will develop more confidence in their abilities with respect to math so that they can look at many different opportunities in terms of their education and career attainment. It's called sewing, but it's really apparel manufacturing. I'm coming um, to it from working with production factories and helping them learn a little bit more about um, the quality and all the aspects that go into a piece of clothing. They start the first week with making knit shirts based on their own measurements. They figure out which production pattern will fit to them best, but we're really using industrial processes all the way through. The second week we go into pattern development based on, again on their measurements and drafting, which is really engineering, like how do you come up with a blueprint uh, for the clothing. So they'll start with a blank piece of paper and draft out their knit um, skirt project, which they're making from the uh, textile design that they worked up on the computer and now has been digitally printed. So they'll be creating one-of-a-kind skirts. These are going to be truly unique to what um, 
they put together. Um, it's going to be their size, their measurements, their design on the textile, and again put together with industrial processes. Thinking through the whole process in terms of how does it compare to what they see in the stores. That's what they want them to realize, what goes into the manufacturing of apparel. They'll understand as consumers what quality is. They'll understand kind of from a point of view a body image uh, that clothes can be made to any measurement. There is no sizing, uh, which I think can really negatively affect middle school girls. They'll also have some creativity. Being able to take that idea of mind and engineer it into final product. They're having to do a lot of math with the body measurements and figuring out how to relate those to patterns that are being developed for one quarter of the body. What happens with ease? How do you work in seam allowances? How do you deal with curves? They've had some geometry through this process. We've even done some algebraic equations. I think it'll help them build confidence. I certainly see it with almost anyone who can make something and show it to the world. In this unit, the girls considered how people vary in size, shape, and style, and how the mass media are doing in terms of honoring the differences that exist in our human population. The girls also began to build an understanding of how the media might shape or influence body-related feelings and behaviors by critically analyzing the meanings and the potential social consequences of media messages that are included in teen magazines. And the girls defined their own individual healthy style and image of beauty by designing t-shirts that promote what we call body positive messages. The girls also participated in a nutrition unit that took place in CSU's Kendall Anderson Nutrition Center. The girls gained an understanding of what constitutes a healthy and balanced lifestyle. The girls planned and prepared and ate and analyzed the nutritional content of a healthy snack. Based upon the girls' reviews of the snacks, I think that this unit was a big hit. To complement the nutrition unit, the girls also took part in a physical activity unit that emphasized the value of an active lifestyle. The girls participated in a creative movement activity that was led by members of Impact Dance. This activity was designed to engage girls in self-expression and build their self-confidence and develop their ability to achieve. The girls also had the opportunity to visit the CSU Rec Center where they went rock climbing and swimming, both of which can promote self-confidence and team building. In our anti-bullying unit, a licensed therapist with expertise in anti-bullying engaged the girls in a critical dialogue and some activities that helped to promote understanding about the various forms of bullying, risk factors for bullying, and appropriate responses to bullying. In our internet safety unit, an officer from the Fort Collins Police Department delivered a kid-friendly interactive presentation that provided guidelines for safe internet use and best practices on how to avoid potential dangers online. I chose to do Fashion Fundamentals because it seemed like a really fun and great program to do and I'm really into fashion. My favorite part was probably store design, creating our textiles or learning how to sew because I've always wanted to know how to sew. I chose to do it because it seemed like a really cool program and I really like STEM and fashion. Um, my favorite part was, I have a bunch of favorite parts, but probably meeting new like people that were really nice and sewing our shirts and making our textiles. I chose to do Fashion Fundamentals because I really like fashion and I think that it would be really interesting and I think it's a really cool opportunity. My favorite part was laughing and getting to meet new people and probably sewing our shirts because even though it was a challenge, it was still fun. 
my favorite part was probably getting to new, meet new people. Everyone was really nice and making a t-shirt and sewing and store design. Those are all my favorites. I learned how to sew and use different kinds of sewing machines and I learned about the different types of fibers and the clothing that you use. I learned a lot of things, so this was really a great program. At Fashion Fundamentals, we inspire. We inspire young girls to realize their greatest potential. We inspire the next generation to be a generation of dreamers, thinkers, and doers. And we inspire the community to see fashion as not just a style of dress, but also as a catalyst to ignite girls' interest and aptitude in the STEM disciplines.